Yo, what's going on guys? So in this video I'm going to be showing you guys my best build for Becca. I believe it's the best build for her, like, out of all of them. And, um, I, it, it's a, what, I, what people call the Sniper Becca, but it's my version of the Sniper Becca. Uh, since they released the, uh, you know, the new 20 points for the equipment, now you can do a lot more with the build. So, the build I'm using there, if you can't tell, I'm using the dog tags. I'm using the long barrel level 1 which is like the only 2 points and the rest is all hollow points to increase the damage of the critical hits. Now a few variations you could do to this build is you can put a, the other long barrel there as well and make the critical even higher but that you lose a bit of damage to do that to increase the chance but you know it's a variation or you can also take away the short barrel there for only 2 points and you can use another hollow points, the the third hollow points in the build there. Now, um, if you use only those three hollow points, you'll still be able to get a bit of of critical damage. Like it's not like you're gonna lose your criticals completely. You're still gonna get them, but uh, and you get, you you will have the highest damage possible, of course. But um, but sometimes it happens that you won't get the critical because you know you don't have that much of a chance of getting it because you just took the the chance increase off. So. I just found it better to use the at least the long barrel, just a l long barrel one there alone with the with the two points, and d with those two hollow points the alone the the rest it's already high enough that you you have enough damage to pretty much you know destroy everything. You you that 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 extra third hollow point is not really you know that necessary. So the strategy I like to use this build is usually depending like if I got the Matilda for example like here, I don't buy I don't buy you know anything just buy herbs or maybe a flashbang if it's especially because it's a daniel so i got the flashbang you know just buy anything you know that's not you know like uh weapon related like don't buy a matilda or anything like that because uh the damn up is already good enough here as you will see for if you, in case you have to go with it for stage one the zone one here and always of course you want to crouch and you want to focus your aim before you shoot when using this build that's the way you, it's, it's it's very strong without it as well but this is the most efficient way you can play this build. And you see there I got a critical. You see right now I'm not crouching and it, it did 1200 damage from the M-Up headshot. So it, it, even if you're not crouched it still does a lot of damage. You see right there I did not get a critical. It was the first shot. I think it's the only shot the entire game. This entire match that I did not get a critical from. Just so you see that the uh, the, the short barrel there is more than enough to uh, take care of the, the chances of the, the critical happening every time. But yeah, you definitely want to crouch every time. You want to obviously try to headshot because then you get the most damage. That's the, the most efficient way you play this build. And even with them up, you, you're pretty much going to be like two-shotting, three-shotting everything. So, um, that's only for first stage one. Uh, when we get to the uh, zone two and three, I'll show you what's the tra strategy for that. Uh, for this build then but uh, he, so here we're moving together so it's kind of laggy to this match unfortunately uh, mastermind is maybe playing on wi-fi i don't know so you see right there because i bought that the herb earlier instead of buying the matilda or whatever now i'm able to heal myself get the infection off and all that so because you, you know that map is more than enough it's my, my main point here so you don't want to really spend your money on anything else so my team did a good job rushing there, the other side of the 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 map here. So we already got the, all the keys and we're moving on. So now the strategy kind of changes because um, you can buy something better than up now for sure. So what I like to do is get the um, the quick draw for sure and the the lightning hawk is is really the main strategy. You want want those two. Usually you can use like a melee weapon and a, a firearm, but because Becca she's she pretty much doesn't need a melee weapon. She's still about the firearms anyway. So what I like to do is run two firearms, as if as if that second firearm was my AKA melee weapon, you know. And uh, two reasons for that. The first reason is that sometimes the lightning hawk is way too strong for the zombie you're trying to kill. It's like overkill, you know. You don't you don't need that kind of damage, and the uh, the lightning hawks waste more ammo than the quick draw will. So if it's like a a, a crawler zombie, for example, you don't need a quick draw to kill that. Uh, sorry, a lightning hawk to kill that with one shot. My uh, quick draw alone will kill that crawler zombie with one shot. So what I would do then is what I, I would use the uh, the quick draw instead of my lightning hog 
to kill that weaker zombie and when I see a stronger zombie then I use the lightning hawk so you see right right there this is how you position yourself you crouch and you see right there I pretty much cleaned the entire room with my quick draw alone and I wasted what like five shots it was less than a was less than a clip there which is six shots it was less than six, six shots and I pretty much cleared the entire room including the zombie he was controlling which takes less damage and you also get a lot of stun from the because the damage is so high that you know it stuns them a lot as you could tell there you see so they are crouch wait for the thing to focus and shoot and then uh, it's like one shot he's down and you see it's uh, everything's critical uh that was so far only one shot in the entire game was not a critical so you know so like i said the the short barrel there is smart enough to take care of the chances you see there again because i didn't bought a gun now i have a, a flashbang that i can use here as well to help me And yeah, and there were also another reason why I use the quick draw, just like I said, because you, you use that to kill the the weaker zombies and the lightning hawk for the stronger zombies, and that saves you ammo while still destroying everything with the high damage. And uh, but also because their probability with the infinite ammo there and everything works much better on the quick draw than it works on the lightning hawk. Even though the lightning hawk has a higher damage, you won't be able to shoot as fast with the you know with the ability active as you would with the quick draw so it's worth it to use the quick draw on that or you can also use the what's the call maybe the acid gun if you have that the special weapons you can use the the rocket launcher if you get that with the, your that's really the main idea but I like to in, assuming assuming you do not get to use those you don't have those in, in your inventory then the quick draw more than takes care of the the usage of your power if you need to at any point use it I use it mostly for the cores because, you know, the weapon itself for crouching and focusing the aim and shooting is already so strong that you really don't need like an infinite amount of bullets firing to kill something, you know. So right here he's controlling Yorick. And let's see if we can get some damage here. So I'm shooting him in the back. Uh, so, so you know, the quick draw, unless you're crouching, it's going to take two seconds for it to focus. So you got to count one, two, and then shoot. And you see, sometimes also, because it's killing so fast, I get more ammo. The ability I'm using on her is the second passive, which drops more ammo when you get headshots, when you kill with headshots. So that's one of the passives I'm using. The other passive I'm using for the crouching is the passive that um, increases the damage for like 10 seconds. It's the first one. The second one makes it, makes it so the damage is increasing. You see right there? Wait for the reticle to focus and then shoot. One shot, she's dead with that shot. It's like over 1,200 damage. But yeah, so like I was saying, the crouching, there's one that you, you crouch, which is the second variation. You crouch it over time, the damage is increasing, but that one is not worth it because it takes like six seconds for it to reach the same amount of damage increase that the, the first passive already does instantly as soon as you crouch. So, you know, it's really not, I don't think it's worth it because you're not going to be standing for six seconds. It, you kill people a lot faster than that with this build. So it's, it's worth it more to use the first passive, which you, you, you crouch, and instantly you have the damage increase and critical hit increase for a 10 seconds duration. And also it shows you in the, a bar, you will see him me using it uh, later here. You see it shows a bar on the left, uh, above your health gauge, uh, how long the those 10 seconds are in effect as the, the time ticks down. So you should have an eye on that because you don't want to be crouched for more than 10 seconds. If the time run, runs out, then you get up and you crouch immediately again. And it will reset the time and you get the, the damage again. So you can use. I'm going to get to a core soon and you will see me doing that. Um, also, if you have blue, uh, yellow herbs, it's just going to you know, increase the damage even higher. It's going to get to crazy levels. So you can see I, I have the um, Lightning Hawk now. Usually by zone 3, you should always be able to buy those. It should be available on the, the chest there. So now I have the Lightning Hawk and I have the Quick Draw in case I need to use my ability to destroy the cores or something else. And this is a perfect example. Like you see, go take position, crouch, wait for it to focus, one shot. You see, one shot, she's dead. Like, it was like 2,600 2, damage. One shot, that, the other one's dead as well. So you just like one shotting everything with this, with this build once you get the Lightning Hawk. And now here I'm going to use my ability. So you see there I switched to Quick Draw and I'm using my ability. I already killed that zombie and now I'm focusing on the core. You don't even need to crouch because it does so much damage, you know, over th with, with that time that you, uh, but if you crouch, you obviously would be better when you're doing that bullet storm there. 
So right there you, you see a great example of using the, the both guns and why I use both of them in the, my inventory. So right here I don't have my power ready right so I'm gonna use my stronger weapon which is the lightning hawk to shoot the so crouch shoot wait for its focus shoot wait for its focus shoot you see it's doing everything's like above 2000 damage and it's all critical so you see the bar there on the left I got a little cut there on the footage but you see the bar was sticking down so I got up and I, I went down again to reset the the 10 seconds worth of dam uh, increased damage and also there's one of also I see that one shot 4000 damage is crazy you can kill liquors too very easily with this kind of damage um so another passive I forgot to mention is the um is the one that affects when you're you're, you're I think it increases the chances of critical when the reticle is focused that's the one you want to use because when you crouch it focuses so quickly and you know while focuses you already get a by default a 50 percent increase in damage so that would be the most efficient way to play this build but if you're just not that guy you, you really don't want to focus your aim you could use the other passive for you know the more criti critical damage when you're not f uh, fully focused with the aim but you know that's, I would just say that's not the most efficient way because the damage will be lower even though you're, you're still getting the same amount of criticals this this way in particular is what I would say and pretty much your your inventory should be like quick draw the lightning hawk and everything else is just like special weapons or herbs and ammo essentially or sprays you know that's all you should be for you should be using melee weapons with back to, especially with this build just to waste so here got a good bit of surprise but yeah guys this match is a really good example of just everything this build is all about so you see right there is a bit a little laggy I, I did not mean to use that spray there it was I meant my herb I thought my herb was in the quick menu but it, it was the wrong one it was the, the spray instead so you see it's a bit laggy but um we'll keep going and uh they increased the damage of this this match was before they increased the damage of the the basic creatures like the crawler or the cashier so I think now their their health total health is probably around 1,300 or something like that. But this build, even if it's not one shot kill anymore with the quick draw itself, it should still be two shots. You know, which is you know not that big of a difference. So it's still worth using this build. You don't need that extra damage now. It's fine if you need to do one bullet more. You're not gonna. It's not gonna be that much of a problem doing one one extra shot. You know. So here, fortunately, I got down. I was I was going to shoot her and uh, stop her because she would get stunned from the shot, but I had to reload, so I was out of ammo, and uh, she was able to grab me. Uh, I don't think my teammates were actually to come here, and I don't really think they should anyway. Just go for the door and open it, so we um, we can get away because we have time. So a death now is not gonna do that. It's gonna be that big of a deal. Right there, she let she let me go. It was probably the lag made her let go of me when she was trying to heal and uh, I died there but she would have healed me but it's fine again like just buy flashbangs or not special weapons that's all you should have in your inventory with this build and as far as weapons goes just the lightning hog and the quick draw and then now we're gonna go for the exit and see if we can we can leave here I think I have a spray yeah I do so instantly heal him there full health and now we just gotta Mr. X is there. Oh, he's he got a flashbang. That's good. So let's get past him. That guy is probably very angry right now. <laughs> it's very frustrating when you uh, they just ignore you like that. You just struggle swap and you just get ignored. So yeah, guys, that's the build. That's every all the points I could cover. I hope I could cover the passives. The passives for the bullet storm which is when she's firing like that crazy is the one that recovers faster rapid cooldown I think is the name rapid recovery uh, the one that increases the critical hit chances when the reticle is fully focused maybe the damage as well the crouching is the one that gives you 10 seconds instantly not the one that builds over time and the last passive for the ammo is when you get more ammo for headshotting because you want to be headshotting with this weapon to be this build to be most efficient and I just show you the playstyle there the weapons you buy when and why and you know how you position yourself to crouch before you shoot and always wait for the reticle to focus so yeah guys that's the build that's the video and i'll see you guys in the next one